Today we're going to talk about one of the biggest challenges retail traders face. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. G'day traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Another uh, beautiful morning down on the uh, coast, city beach in Perth. Uh, absolutely stunning morning. Sun's uh, just about to come up and uh, as you can see our beaches aren't too bad in the morning. They're not that crowded. It's pretty pretty special place. Today we're talking about one of the biggest trade biggest challenges that retail traders face and that's that we're focused on the money. Now that may sound strange to people because obviously we come to the markets to make money. We come to the markets to make try and make a lot of money but the actual challenge that we that's the, the biggest reason why most of us will continue to face a lot of emotional impulsive hurdles because we focus on the money instead of focusing on mastering the execution of our trading plan. You know, this is why people go to al algorithmic trading and they go to um, automated trading and expert advisors and everything else because it removes them out of the equation. The, the challenge with those types of systems though is that they have to be able to um, the traders need to be able to withstand going through different market conditions and also therefore maybe facing big drawdowns at certain points in time which which a lot of traders may actually pull the pin on their system just as the system's coming out of the drawdown heading into another you know maybe big run where they'll make back that money and and uh, obviously profit profits as well but as a discretionary mechanical trader uh, a retail trader especially you know, we're, we face hurdles that where we try to Im impose our will or our wishes or our dreams onto the markets on a, on a daily or weekly basis. So, we, you know, we go to the markets to try and make money each day. And as a result of that, we maybe get in too soon. We over leverage. We take trades outside of our trading plan. We don't use stops. We move our stops. We average into losing trades. We chase trades. We, we anger trade. We revenge trade. We do all these crazy things. You know, that, and, I, and I've talked about this myself. I've done it. I've blown up small accounts. The, the challenge is actually in removing yourself away from the money and just focusing on executing your trading plan and be completely detached from the outcomes of the trades. And this is why I switched the bulk of my, well, all of my trading to end of day because I made most of my mistakes, well, the biggest of all my mistakes occurred during, you know, day trading. And uh, I recognized that in order for me to achieve the goals that I was after and also achieve the type of trading that I was after, that the end of day trading was was where my you know focus needed to lie and that's why you know i i talk about placing orders into the market shutting down the computer uh aside from you know doing other things on the computer but co not touching my trades until the next day at the new york rollover and and part of that reason is is that it allows me to spread my risk it allows me to um you know control my risk, it allows me to trade multiple instruments, it allows me to grow that account and irrelevant a size and still, you know, have the potential to do the same thing over and over again each week based on how I'm trading. Now, my challenge to you is to, whether whatever time frame you're trading on, whatever results you're getting, it doesn't matter, but if you're struggling to be consistent, you know, go back and take a look at are you, are you actually focused on executing your trading plan? One of the things we talk about in the seven step daily routine for high performance traders, and if you haven't done so, go to my homepage, download that. It's about the daily routines. And, and one of the things I do in, in my accelerated learning and, and in my testing is that I go back and I, you know, bar by bar. And, and that, that reinforces, you develop the confidence through accomplishment. You need to ritualize those things into your daily routine so that you build the confidence in your system and the and the confidence in executing it. Now, a lot of the end of day trades, if you use look at I go back and I look at the hourly charts. If I was trading on those hourly charts, taking the same trades, at some point during the, the session, the market will often come back and retest those early entries into the market. Now you know that shakes out the weak hands that shakes out the the smaller players and and this is why with my end of day trading i come back the next day and if the trade is in profit but i go back and look at the hourly chart i may have moved my stop to break even and then been stopped out after sitting on that trade for hours so you know again it's 
time for money. Look at how you're trading. Look at the hours that you're putting in at the screen. Are you getting paid for, for that time? If not, go and take a look at the longer time frames. Go look at how you can possibly skew the odds in your favor. Again, remember, we're retail traders. The market, the, 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 the smart money knows how the retail traders are going to react. They know that they're using indicators. They know that they're using um, you know, certain times of the day to try and time the market and everything else. And, and, and this is why, like a lot of the stuff, I talked about this, Anton Krill talks about it in his video, a lot of the garbage that's out there that's perpetuated in courses and, and how to trade the markets and everything is actually produced by the industry because they know that they're going to, 95, 99% of retail traders are going to lose their money and they're constantly searching for new players to get into the game. And, and it's, again, put the odds in your favor. But again, the biggest challenge that you really will face is in your own head because of the money. So you need to shift your focus onto becoming a master of your craft, you know, executing your trading system, become a black belt, become a Bruce Lee with your trading plan. And every single day, get better at it. You're gonna make mistakes, so, so trade small, you know, use micro lots. I loved, you know, I, I talked about that before. Get into the headspace of being a professional money manager and, and really just focus on executing your trades, focus on mastering your, your entries, your exits, your management of your trading system, your, your capital management, and get better at it every single week. So hopefully you got some value from today's video, traders. Become a black belt. Don't focus on the money. If you focus on mastering your trading system and your edge, the money will come. Have a great trading week. Stay disciplined. Get down to the beach. Enjoy the weather wherever you're at in the world. You might, my kids are skiing right now. They're up in the mountains and there's snow everywhere. So uh, they're back next week. They've had a great holiday. Have a great trading week. Focus on constant progress. Become a master of your trading system and may the markets go with you. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.